Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between State and Barcode on Ilrena. Yes, this is our weekly PvP. <clears throat> this is pro level. State is a pro level gamer currently looking for a team. And he played this game on his Twitch stream um, a couple of days ago. I think it was New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. I'll put a link to his Twitch stream in the descriptions, you can check him out and follow him if you want to. In the top left of Olrena, we have the red t t Protoss player. It is State. And in the bottom left of Olrena, we have the blue Protoss player. It is Barcode. Who could this be? Could this be Showtime? Could this be Petit Drogo? Could this be any number of amazing Protoss players we've seen on the channel? Who knows, but we will never know because it is a Barcode player. I understand why players do this, but man, it is so frustrating sometimes. I just wonder who this is, what potential they have as a player. If we see them again, we'll never know because it could be a different Anyway, moving on into the game here, what's actually happening? Both players getting assimilators, barcode getting two, both players getting a single gateway and continuing on that worker production. State going for a single assimilator here with one worker on gas. Is that what we're looking at? It tells me it's likely going to be, yep, we're saving up those minerals, a gateway expand. Whereas Barcode is going for more of a one base type play here. It could be an Oracle push coming out early on. He just checked. What? Where are you? No. Pro, build a Nexus. Hmm. Going into that Cybernetics core. Still has. Oh, and then another gateway. What did he change his mind about there? I wonder. Maybe he didn't change his mind. Maybe he just scouted out to see if there are any probes or pylons running around he had to worry about. Hmm. So instead, he does not go for a one gateway expand. But instead, it feels like throwing down another assimilator, getting a cyber core up sooner than he would have been able to, and getting a gateway. So again, no zealot coming out of this thing. Going to wait for that cyber core. Probably going to be an adept. Adepts are good in early PvP. And there's that second gateway finishing. So it looks like Barco is doing pretty much exactly the same thing that State is doing, except a little bit more quickly. No, timing looks approximately the same. Again, that assimilator was late, so you'll notice that Barco has more gas than State has. Anyway, just doing a scout off now, sees exactly what's going on from Barcode. Double Stalker coming out here, not being Chrono Boosted, instead Chrono Boosting the Cybernetics Core and that Warp Gate Research. And meanwhile, an Adept is coming out. So Adepts do fairly well against, uh, I don't know, not that great against Stalkers actually. They are armored units instead of light units. So Adepts do exactly 10 hit points of damage to them. They have 160 total, plus they're fast and they're ranged, and they pretty much do very well against Adepts, especially in smaller numbers. Continuing, oh, now moving into Stalker production here. Single Adept, double Stalker. These Stalkers do take out a single probe, trying to just run away from home, trying to just survive the day. Sonic Transfer being used to scout things out and does actually see those Stalkers. Can it get up and see anything else? Yes, it actually, oh, finishes the transfer. Does see there's no Nexus coming in there. So definitely a one base type play. Mothership Core for State is over here. What are you doing, Mothership Core? Oh, it does manage to recall itself home. Just, just barely surviving there. Very low on hit points indeed. Getting a couple worker kills here is the Adept. Meanwhile, Stalkers are poking up that ramp, but two Stalkers can hold off two Stalkers fairly well, assuming the Micro is good, especially if they have the high ground advantage. Where's that Mothership Core? There she is. Down to 36 hit points when she managed to get out of there. Barcode is constructing or warping in a Nexus. That is natural. Is State planning on doing that himself? He doesn't appear to be saving up minerals to that extent right now. This probe could be working on it, but I don't know. And a third gateway as well as another pylon being warped in by state. Barcode, meanwhile, is going for more gateways here and a robotics facility. Stargate on the way for state. There it is. That's his tech of choice up there at the north base there. North of the base. Couple more shots coming on in. Just mainly stalkers. And again, that early gas makes sense um, with this cybernetic score. You, disruptors are pretty heavy on gas, as are immortals. And so if you have that early gas income, you can really start pumping out those higher tech units a lot more quickly than your opponent's state with the question mark. Oh, quick pause and then a go. And we don't have to worry about that on the replay. It doesn't really save that. <laughs> yep, it is an oracle coming out here from state. A little bit late, perhaps just for revelation. But I suppose if there are no cannons, no cannons in this mineral line, there are, however, sentries. I'm not sure how well sentries do against oracles. They can shoot up with their disruption beam doing six damage with a range of five weapon speed of 0.71. Again, which is very, very quick. Essentially, it's just a continuous stream. I'm not sure how they calculate that for sentries. 
to be honest. But Observer does check out the Oracle. Oh no, the Oracle does see what's going on. The Stalker gets into position, starts zapping away at this Oracle. The Photon Overcharge also getting a shot off. The Sentry is actually leaving to come defend down here. Three Stalkers, however, are in that main mineral line, and the Oracle is in a lot of trouble. Might actually die if it starts to push the issue any further. Everybody's stuck back in these mineral lines, and so State feels like it's a good time to push the front. He's coming in with these Stalkers, an Immortal in production by Barcode. Also getting Blink for his Stalkers, and another Stargate coming up for State. What on earth? Wow, I don't know. The Phoenix is going to try to kill that Mothership Cord, and can't quite do it. Photon Overcharge getting the kill there. Oracle hanging back, regenerating its shields, regenerating its uh, energy. Going to try to sneak back in here when Barcode is not paying attention. This looks like a pretty good time. Killing one worker, two workers, three workers, four workers. Wow, four easy workers there for the Oracle. Up to six kills now. And it is 37 to 32 Harvesters. State is in the lead. Observer running around, seeing what's going on. Does see that second Stargate. Says, all right, so pretty much what I need to do is get Mass Stalker here. Because Immortals are not going to be very much use at all. They can be good for these limited Stalkers that are on the ground. But in the grand scheme of things, you really want Stalkers against Stargate if you're going in a PvP match. Just because Stalkers do well against Carriers. They do really, really well against Void Rays. And Phoenix and anything in the air <laughs> from your fellow Protoss opponent. You can kill with Stalkers. No need to worry about that. Meanwhile, we do have more and more Phoenix coming out. Phoenix perhaps to try to snipe down that Mothership Core, which can be really nice. If you're attacking with your army and you can kill your opponent's Mothership Core, there's no Photon Overcharge available. That could be a big advantage in your favor. I guess go ahead and give that a shot if it feels like something you want to do. Robotics Facility coming up for a state. And yeah, just getting gas, continuing to produce Phoenix... And meanwhile, more and more gateways. Again, that blink being researched here. Revelation tossed down on this army from that oracle. And now, State can see everything that is going on. Ta-da! See this vision available to State? It's so, so wonderful. The, it's interesting. You don't get the vision, right? The Stalker can see farther than this, but the Revelation just shows you where that unit is and anything really nearby to it. You can't see a big area, which can be, which can be, uh, which could be more handy. Third Nexus being warped in. Oracle does see the hallucinated Phoenix and runs away just in case it's a real Phoenix. Continuing to scout on in here. And what is that? Oh, a warp prism being warped in by state. I'm going to go for something aggressive here, I'd have to assume. Again, not going for a third Nexus of his, of his own. More of a two base push with Phoenix and Void Rays mixed in. I just, I don't know how this is going to work. That's a lot of Void Rays to be sure, but the stalker count right now. For barcode is up to 10 and he is producing no more right now so maybe he's not overproducing on those stalkers uh, as is something i would probably want to do here come the phoenix and an oracle they're going to try to kill some stuff they could probably kill a ton of workers here there are four stalkers in that mineral line ready to go however getting warped in oh he used the warp gate to put his base here at the goal that's awesome the phoenix flying on in again taking shots from the stalkers forced to retreat hallucinated phoenix over here i'm not sure what that was but again, another revelation on the army, just trying to hold down his third at the gold, which will be a very nice economic benefit if he can hold on to it. More immortals coming in. Plus one, plus one. Now being researched by barcode. And no such upgrades for state at all. Nothing for his air units. Nothing for his ground units. No for does Cybernetics core not being used for upgrades at all. Going to swing on in here. Free immortal. Free immortal. The phoenix don't do extra damage to immortals, but there are enough of them. They should be able to kill it. And they do get it. However, losing the oracle... And uh, I might have lost a Phoenix there in the process. Lost units tab. Single Phoenix has died. Another pause quickly from Barcode. Hallucinated Phoenix gets burned down by those Void Rays. It's 103 to 118 total supply. Barcode is looking good. Has a very, very ground-centric army. Those Stalkers, again, Stalker count now up to 18. With three Immortals mixed in as well as some Sentries. I, I feel like they have a pretty solid advantage here against State. The Void Rays, again, get evaporated pretty quickly by Stalkers if they're focused down. These Immortals on the ground are nice. The Zealots are okay. But unless the Zealots have charged, they're really no threat to those Stalkers. Especially if they're Blink Stalkers. Templar Archives being warped in from Barcode. That plus one, plus one just about to finish. Now getting the air upgrades, which is great. If you're going for this much air as state, you might as well get some of those air upgrades. So air plus one on that attack on the way, as well as a second Stargate. A third Stargate. Pardon me. One, two, and... Three Stargates in production. Heading up this way is Barcode, trying to do a bit of a sneak attack. Check to see if there's a third base coming up from State. The answer is no. There is not one for State at all. He's definitely going for more of a three base at the gold type play. Double assimilator here, not being used for anything right now. Very nice for the gold income, however. The Phoenix poke on in to see what they're dealing with. 
And I think the War Prism might... What's the War Prism doing? Ah, just dropping workers down. Doing a transfer from his main base to the gold base. A fourth base on the way for barcode. Oh, State, you're in so much trouble right now. So much trouble. Not many big battles. 450 minerals, 200 gas lost. As the Phoenix continue to fly around and lose their numbers uh, for State, barcode has lost 800 minerals and 100 gas and 11 workers. However, has caught up. It is now 61 to 51 total harvesters in favor of barcode. Production tab will bring that guy back. Plus two, plus two. Now on the way for barcode. I just don't think this is going to go well for State. I honestly don't. It's not looking good. It is essentially three and a half base to three base. There is a gold I know for state, but army size right now. Let's see. How do we get that army size up? There was something I could do. Active forces, army value, 5,000 minerals, 2,600 gas, uh, 4,900 minerals, 2,700 gas. Again, the plus one, plus one can be nice. Plus two, plus two. Also super, super handy. Now taking a fourth base over here is State. Both players just dancing, man. Dancing back and forth. Nobody really wants to bring a big force across the map. The biggest force we've seen come across the map from Barcode were those two Stalkers early in the game. And then for State, it's really just been this Phoenix Oracle type harassment. Nobody has sent a large force anywhere closer to the other side of the map than right about here. Which is where Barcode poked in. It didn't really see anything of value, so decided to back on out. Again, fourth base here. Uh, 68 to 56 total harvesters. Barcode looking really in control all the way around here. State is what? Ah, State is getting Tempest. What on earth Tempest? I guess Tempest do well against Archons and Immortals and stuff. Another revelation being thrown down, seeing the exact composition of this army. State now knows exactly what he is dealing with. Loses a scouting zealot, and are going to zoom out because this army is getting pretty darn big, and we'll see where they're going to go. Pylon, yeah, State putting up a pylon way over there and way down here to see again, making sure the barcode isn't expanding completely out of control here. The Phoenix running around, they really can't engage. There are way too many Stalkers and Archons here. If they fly over this group, they will die in about 2.3 seconds. Is he going for it? Barcode pushing on in, taking some shots from those Tempests. A mothership is here, though, for State. And Barcode says, I don't care. I'm going to kill your third, or what he thinks is the third, going after some pylons that were photon overcharged. They die immediately. The Nexus is also being target fired here while the Void Ray is trying to burn down everything on the ground. Losing an Archon, losing an Immortal, some Stalkers, and the Stalkers blink forward, taking out that Mothership, and then going after the Void Rays. The Void Rays using Prismatic Alignment to do extra damage to armored units, and lifting everything that he can. Uh, Tempest destroying stuff in the air as well that Immortal can't shoot anything, and now it has finally landed. And it looks like State might actually hold this off using the Graviton Lift a Beam ability. Lifting off these Immortals, killing them with Stalkers and with Tempest. And the army gets cleaned up for Barcode. There were some Tempest harassments going on here, but they're now shooed away by those Stalkers. But hey, State somehow held on there, man. He got rid of all of those Stalkers. Resources lost tab. Another attack here, though, with Void Rays and Tempest. Coming through this small so ch choke, Barcode does not want to be there. You do not want to go through that small area. Being forced to back on out. Pushing in here is State with the Void Rays and the Tempest. Trying to take down a pylon. And they do! Single pylon. Fall Stalkers moving around with their plus two, plus two. Trying to take out individual Tempest going after Void Rays. But no, the Stalkers blinking forward now. They are feeling very confident in their ability to handle this entire army. Uh, but again, Stalkers being lifted up by the Phoenix so that the Void Rays and the Phoenix can deal with them. Stalker count looking pretty darn good still on the ground though. Getting rid of one Tempest. Blinking forward again. The Void Ray falls. Tempests just standing in and not microing all that much right now and forcing finally the remaining stalkers to retreat to regroup with the rest of their buddies. Plus two, plus two is here. And another Phoenix fall to the blink stalker harass. State decides to back on out for the time being. 7,600 minerals, 3,700 gas lost for State. 10,300 minerals, 5,000 gas, gas lost for barcode. So State actually ahead. In that resources lost tab, it's 115 to 116 total supply, 68 workers to only 51 for state though. Barco looking so, so good economically. And again, Tempest are just slow. You can really abuse the slowness there by bringing your Blink Stalkers around and killing stuff. Getting that Twilight Council would be great. Canceling charge on the Zealots, very, very handy, but I don't think that's going to happen. The Stalkers see a Void Ray and immediately the Void Ray is gone. But then blinking on out, just killing what they can, trying to get additional Phoenix. The army responding in a fairly good time. For state as good as he possibly could 
and Observer running around for state just seeing where those pesky stalkers are. Plus three, plus three, not on the way for our blue Protoss. Heading on up here again. I think they just want this Nexus and indeed they're going to stand on in. Barcode feels like if he can kill this Nexus, he's going to starve state out, but I don't know if that's the case. Instead, changing the focus to the Void Rays. Man, those Void Rays die so fast to those Stalkers, and they blink out in a defensive position. Yo, getting two Phoenix on the way out for their trouble as well. 120 to 124 total supply, 59 to 68 Harvesters. State Lee keeps this base. Again, Barcode has no idea this base exists. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He saw a pile on there. I bet he does know that it's there. He just has no way of dealing with it. Now, making a warp prison, that should help. Warp prison coming up, warping in some charged zealots would be nice. Another mothership on the way for state, because why not? <laughs> the first mothership was a fairly good success. I believe it did help state win that battle. A lot of the attacks from those stalkers were concentrated on the mothership instead of going after the void rays that were doing a lot of damage and the phoenix that ended up helping immensely in that particular battle. So again, even if it's just used as essentially a meat shield, that can be good. Adept's getting warped on in here. All these probes trying to run, but there's nowhere to go because they're on an island, which can be a bad thing. Oh, the Adept's actually killing response Adept's that were trying to be warped in, or perhaps those were Zealots. The Void Rays are here to clean this up, and not before every single probe on this island should be killed. This single probe is left. No, two. Two are now here. Where the Adept's, you can't run. No, 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 get the probes. Don't go after assimilators. And meanwhile, a huge attack over here. Finally getting the Nexus. Stalker count again looking very, very good, along with the Immortals on the ground here. The Zealots. Do they have charge? They do have charge. Tempest count also looking fairly big. Uh, eight. Eight total Tempest in the air, throwing down their kinetic charges. Is that what it was against ground? Uh, ground. Resonance coil. To these ground units just trying to kite back and back and back meanwhile this adept is still here what no he's gonna get so many more kills up to five he has a mentor this base alive zealot charge zealot managing to kill a single nope yep getting a cannon getting a probe this base is still under lockdown though for state and state is not mining much at all there are not many mineral patches at this base long distance mining from this base nothing happening at his gold he needs this to work he needs it to work, coming right on in with his Tempest, with his Zealots. Everything on the ground just dying. Blink forward again with the aggressive forward blink here as Barcode. And the Adepts, not much of use against these Tempest. However, they're just kind of on the ground, hopefully soaking up some damage that is coming from the air above. An Archon zapping away at everything. It's not biological that he's attacking. He does not get benefit from his perk there, Warp Prism. Falling. Tempests are trying to kite as best they can, but they are slow, slow units. And I think every single Tempest here is going to fall. It's 134 to 41 total supply in favor of Barcode. And State loses his final Tempest here at the 17 minute mark. And that's it. State calls the GG. He has some Dark Templars in there, but he recognized that was not enough to win the game. Uh, there was detection back at the main base. The DTs can only do so much. And that was it. He tapped out here at the 17 minute and 45 second mark. And that's it from our friend State. All right. So pretty good back and forth PvP there. I like to see the Tempests. I like the use of Phoenix and Oracles. It's always nice when it's not just Disruptor, Stalker in those PvPs. Those can be very fun, but I do like to see some variety. And that's what we got today. So that's it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another Daily Legacy of the Void upload. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching, and you take care of yourself.